so I'm going to be doing my first tutorial, uh, it's going to be about 3D models and how to make them. So uh, I get a lot of requests about this, uh, people say, like, most people know the basics, they don't, just don't know how to make stuff nice and creative and stuff. And so uh, I'm going to give you guys a few ideas and minds, give you guys some tips, some tricks that will really help them a lot You'll be able to get this like first or second try, it's really easy to get in So this is going to be my introducing video to Vexon because I got, I'm officially a Vexon Designs partner, uh, I'm a director, I might get partnered soon, uh, depending on my content, and uh, yeah, so let's jump right into it. So these are some of the models I have in my portfolio, uh, this I learned modeling, went right into Cinema 40, put together my own light studio, and came up with this in about an hour. So, um, that's all after one hour of modeling. Imagine what you can do with your time and effort into it. Uh, this took quite a while. I think it was like two hours to make this. Because I was gonna make a room, and then I was gonna make a spaceship and turn it into a submarine, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, and then there's this. This is a cool little robot. It didn't turn out as well as I had wanted. I think that the legs look a bit off, especially from out here to here. But, you know, whatever. And, um,. And we'll go into room designs, and, uh, yeah, I made this room from scratch, uh, the only things that I didn't make are the textures, like, I took the images from Google, as you can see in my speed art, but I actually created the texture in some of I tried to incorporate a bit of, uh, photo manipulation into them, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of this, because I've never tried to do a realistic model before, you know, I think this turned out decent, not a Amazing. The couches are a bit too high. The window doesn't look the best. But you know, whatever. Um, and so that's basically what you can do. Basically, right off the bat, like I I've been modeling for a week or two, and it's really cool the stuff you can do with it. So I'm gonna jump right into here. This is my model studio. Um, I'm going to be releasing this in the video, um, on Model Studio, because I put this together all custom, all the lights and everything, it's really helpful, it's really nice, but make sure you do not use it for text, it'll make your text look horrible. Um, so what you want to do is maybe get one or two lights, open up a new document, and paste a light in there, and um... What this does is it gives you a lot more room to work at with. If you try working and making a model just in my life, you it is so hard and so, uh, and so frustrating. So you want to make a new thing. And so basically, the building block of all models, is, it starts with the torus. There are segments, as you can see, you can control the size of everything based on normal stuff, you can control the segments on the pipe. I usually just leave the segments alone, but if you turn them down, the more square it gets into the point where you can get to a triangle. I usually leave it at 36 because it says pretty round. The more you do it up, the longer it takes to render and the rounder your uh, torus is. So, what we're gonna do right now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, on this, we'll, we wanna have our textures. Actually, I'll just make some random textures for now. Black. These, you can't do a texture like this, cause usually, like, just don't do texture like this. So, you have to press on the, you're gonna, make sure you have the torus selected, and you're gonna hit C on your keyboard, and you're gonna have this little black and white checker thing pop up, that means you can model it, and the icon beside here will change, into like a triangle, or I think sometimes it might be a square, but if that's up, it's not, you can model it, and uh, then on this left hand side, 
where the, it has the triangle selected and there are all these. Instead of the triangle selected, you want to go down to this one where it has the four blocks, three of them are plain, and then the top left corner, that's the big orange square. You can click it, and all of a sudden, all of the white lines around here are going to turn blue, and you're going to get this little selector key. And so you select one dot, and you can pull it out, and you, whatever you want with it. Uh, but that's not what I usually do. Usually what I do is um, I take the ring selection tool, and you simply select one ring, you left click, and then you go to either be bevel, extrude, I never really use extrude inner, or matrix extrude. So those are your main tools, matrix extrude, extrude, and bevel. So matrix extrude gives you kind of like these crazy little wrap lines and you can edit them in this so like I can make them curve greater that, that looks that actually looks pretty cool not gonna lie you can make them curve greater you can make them twist you can make them twist you can control the steps so you can control how the car goes it's really cool if you can do that this editing tool but make sure you use it because it is so helpful uh, on the toolbar you can hit extrude and you can make it really tall that's how I usually do my space cannons I actually extrude that quite a while and you see it kind of takes the cannon shape um, and so same thing you can control the divisions in it so like say you want more subdivisions for some for more modeling you can add those, you can, it's amazing what you can do, you can, uh, so remember those tools, and then bevel is, um, just making it smooth, so you, you don't want to bevel it too far, otherwise it'll get messed up, you don't want to bevel it backwards, you just want to bevel it a bit forwards, just to smooth it out, um, it gives it a nice effect, and now we're going to move on to color. Um, long. I don't want to make this such a long tutorial because I'm going to have to edit it. So you're going to add the black to the torch, right? So that's your main color. Then on your selection, we'll bevel it. We'll bevel it up a bit and then we'll extrude it back. And then you just drag your red on and the whole thing will go like white or gray. Except for that, but you deselect it and go back to its color. So you see, you just beveled it and then turned it in a bit, and then you can deselect it, do the ring selection, do the ring selection, matrix extrude it. And you can do the same thing basically, and then you can make the tips of it red by just dragging that color on. Um, and so that's something really cool. Like, so you can control your colors basically. You can tr uh, that. So you have the bevel, the extrude done, the matrix extrude. You know how to place the colors, and then basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna copy your Taurus, and you're gonna open the model studio, and inside the model studio, you're just gonna place it. It's gonna be right there. And uh, then you can put it in, you don't have to do any modeling, it won't be frustrating. And there you go. And so, you can also do the same for text, but it's really hard. And so, just a key thing so you guys know, when you get the Model Studio, um, the, the black text, the black stuff on the text, that's, what you, that's supposed to be the main part of your model. So you can change the color of that, that's made for the main part of the model. I'll rename anything. Main model. So that's for the main model, and then the glow. This is the glow. Um, it's called turquoise. I'll rename it glow. That's what makes your model glow. That's what makes it uh. That's what makes it like this. So you can see how it's glowy. 
that's the glow texture, and you can see uh, the black, that's the black texture. So, um, with this, you guys should be able to make a nice, a nice uh, model thing. Uh, I do not recommend using this light studio if you're gonna model a room because it kind of messes it all up with uh, all the lights being almost extreme. You're just gonna want to have it lightly when you're doing a room, not too much lights, maybe one or two big lights. And yeah, so when you're doing sci fi, make sure you put it in this light studio. It is. Um, I can't believe I made this. It's really helpful for me. It's it's what's like it's brought my models to that level. And um, so use this. It is so helpful uh, with your models. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully, this will help you guys learn to model stuff in Sumo 40 better. Because uh, we get along with this and that. And if you don't, if you're having trouble um, with this, just feel free to add my Skype. I will put a link to it in the description. And uh, yeah, I know. So, uh, you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If it really helps you out. Remember, if you don't know how to do it, contact my Skype and uh, see you later. Uh, hey guys, track here.